Hey everybody, welcome back to another BeamNG Drive Tough Car Challenge Modded Edition. Today's contestant is the 1970 Dodge Coronet 383. This is by, I, I'm going to mispronounce his name, but Stoat Muldoon. The link to this car will be in the description below. Like, like all of the cars on the modded leaderboard for the Tough Car Challenge, all mods come from the... Uh, Beam NG web page. So, how will this beautiful muscle car hold up to the Tough Car Challenge test track? There's nothing else to do but fire it up, strap in, and hold on tight. Let's get going. Alrighty, guys, we are in our coronet, so we're going to go ahead and get it started here. I didn't, I don't think I said this in the introduction, but this particular Coronet has the three speed automatic transmission, excuse me. The other cars that are available in this pack all have the, the big 440 uh, cubic inch engine with a four speed manual with the good old Mopar pistol grip shifter. All right, we're gonna go ahead, remove our parking brake and turn our lights on so you could read our gauges a little bit better. I see our fuel gauge. I think I see the temperature gauge. Alrighty, here we go. Put it in drive. Can it do a burnout? Yes, it can. Three, two, one, and away we go. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, that cracked the windshield. I just noticed, I drove this car the other night, and I noticed, I didn't notice it then, but I notice it now, the, uh, the, uh, indicators for the transmission are a little wobbly. Oh, well, I can ignore it if you guys can ignore it. <laughs> this big old car is really doing well. A bit tail happy, but of course that is with all big American rear wheel drive cars from the air, especially ones that had a bit of punch under their hoods. Woo, come on. A lot of understeer. Try to crack that with just massive just flooring it and trying to get some oversteer to power out of it. Don't know if it's really working or not. There we go. If this was a manual car, I could just give it a good old clutch kick and that would help. All right. Oh, that did not work like I wanted it to. All right, we're coming up to the end of our first lap. Doing well. We're doing well. Come on. And one lap down. Oh. There we go. Keeping this big old girl under control. Ooh, hard landing on that front passenger corner. go over the jump Ooh, hard landing that took out our radiator that took out the radiator Ooh, come on girl all right we're at one and a half Ooh, watch the rock Oh, come on. Get your big butt stop for the corner. All right, here we go. Pop, hit the park and brake there. Try to get us to swing around a little better. We're going to go ahead and pull off. Because <clears throat> that one landing was particularly hard. Just see what has happened to the front end of this car. Come on. Girl, you got this. You got this. Ooh. 
Oh, 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 come on. All right, here we go into the pits. In the park and engine off, lights off. Let's go ahead, hop out of the car and see what's going on with it. Okay, from the outside, the car doesn't look as bad as it looked inside. When we had that one landing, we did mess up the camber on this wheel. It, If it was sitting a lot lower, it looked like it was trying to stance itself. But with that, you could kind of tell also the subframe, front subframe did bend a little bit. And just looking at the front end, you can see the car is just a little bit too. This is pushed up. This is at normal height. So... I mean, other than that, the car seems to be okay. I mean, I don't see... Maybe the whole body's tilted on that side? It kind of looks like it. Yeah, the body line is okay on this side. It's not okay on this side. I suspect with how the, everything's bent, the car is going to be sitting a little weird. But, I think... I mean... Otherwise, I mean, other than the, than the radiator, she seems to be doing very well so we're gonna hop back in the car and keep on going all right let's fire it up turn the lights on put it in drive three two one release the brakes nice smoky burnout that's the nice thing about these cars you could get a nice there's enough torque there you can get a nice burnout out of them all right Two laps down. Let's see. Can we get a third? And then after the third, could we get a fourth? <laughs> All right. Here we go. Up the Widowmaker. Oh. All right. Coming up to our jump here. We are... Oh, we're, we're in trouble. Oh. Hey, we survived it. We survived it a lot better than I thought we would. Bring it around. go two and a half oh a lot of steam coming out of this front end oh i think oh that's the fuel i thought i was like oh god the temper ga gauge is pegged no that's the fuel gauge i wouldn't be surprised if the temperature gauge is pegged as well all right here we go Did not want that. All right, here we go. Woo, come on, girl. A lot of tires are screaming here. Come on. We have three laps. All right. Three down. go over the jump rough landing it looks like yep the hood latch has gave away that's okay though it as long as it doesn't just pop up in our face and we're gonna be okay oh come on girl save it there we go oh hard landing oh that broke that messed something up in the front because the whole car is shaking now we're all right though Oh, looks like... Oh, looks like our temperature gauge is getting pegged. So, oops. Oh, well. Three and a half. All right. The engine's going. You could hear it down... It's not down on power. It's not revving like it was. It's trying. It's trying, but it's not doing it. It's given up the ghost. And it gave up the ghost. So we're going to go ahead and let the car roll out. Yep, engine's locked. All right. That is about it. Throw her in the park. 
Let's go ahead, hop out of the car, and see what's left of it. Okay, guys, we are out of our car, and it honestly physically doesn't look too bad. I mean, it looks like it is savable. Just throw a windshield on, maybe straighten out the frame a little bit, new rear windshield, fix the suspension, lower valance, and obviously the engine. It'd be as good as new. <laughs> now nah, this thing's pretty much toast. I mean, look at the camber on this. Holy crap. And it's still attached. Damn, look at that. Well, the car was still turning very well. But engine overheated and locked itself up. We have plenty of smoke just rolling out from underneath the hood and underneath the car. This was on th its third lap. Let's see. It's just that the turnaround so i'd say this is set three and seven eighths a very respectable rating from our 383 coronet let's go ahead pop into overhead view verify our seven eighths rating for the final of three and seven eighths and then let's discuss where the coronet shows up on the modded car leaderboard okay we're now in overhead view our car is right here and seven eighths is right after the turnaround, so this is pretty much perfect for the seven eighths of a lap rating. We had three completed laps, so and obviously the seven eighths for the partial, so three and seven eighths is the final rating that ties this car with the Oldsmobile Custom Cruiser Wagon, which is in the lower half of the leaderboard. The vehicles that the uh, Coronet is in front of is the Gavril Vendetta 423 with 3 and an 8th, the Oldsmobile Regency 4x4 Coupe with 2 and 7 eighths, as well as the ETK S12 TX with 2 and 5 eighths. Uh, the vehicles that are in front of the Coronet would be the Bishu Kashira 3.5 ZX all-wheel drive with 4 and an 8th, the Satsuma 210 panel van with 5 and 3 eighths, and the Bruckel Legrand SC convertible with 5 and 7 eighths. And since the, this leaderboard is very small, in second place is the Bishu Miramar Z Coupe Lux in six, with 6.5 six laps. And in first place is the Satsuma 210 convertible with the little 1000cc engine with 10 laps completed. So... Like I said, the Coronet is in the lower half of the leaderboard, but that is still a very good rating to have, that 3 and 7 eighths. So, anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Please like, please subscribe, all that good fun stuff. And until the next episode of the Tough Car Challenge, guys, have a good one.